straight down the middle. There's a right hand. He, right right hook. Hook. he hurt. He hurt Woodall. Right hook to the temple. Nice right hook to the body. He's coming up top with the two. I think Woodall's got some real trouble here. Roy Francis cautioning Woodall. Woodall again is backed up. Straight left hand knocked the mouthpiece of Woodall out. Kazagi with a left right. The left was beautiful. Straight right on the butt. Once again, the speed a big factor, although first started the route to be in a little bit of trouble. And Woodall comes out very aggressively. And he came out right down the middle with the right hand. Nice straight left hand by Kazagi, but Woodall firing back with the right hand. Almost with the elbow bent to be effective. There's a good straight right to the jaw. from the champion looking for something. Now Zaggy peppering the head of Woodall. It was nearly a low blow with the right uppercut. There's a good right hand, a stiff right to the neck by Woodall. Feeling that Calzaghe is stronger than Woodall. Woodall trying to use his smarts. Calzaghe starting to work now. Body right hand to the body being very effective. Piece to the ebb and flow here. Calzaghe came out backing up with Woodall coming forward. That's much better for Woodall. Not as good for the team. Combination with a head by Woodall. Looking sharp. Chris punches another right fighter, but it looks like Woodall has made the proper adjustments. Keeping his mind on the body, too. He's always got a body punch mixed in the combination. Very smart. A volley of punches to the chest by Kazagi. Woodall bouncing off the ropes. Not a very bright thing to do there. To walk right into a shot. Trapped against the ropes there. Able to spin away is Woodall. Now Kalzaghi also making the adjustments Stop to the body work, really telling. Totally different kind of fight for Kalzaghi. Oh, beautiful right uppercut by Woodall on the chin of Kalzaghi. Seventh title defense. Undefeated 29 and 0. Nice straight left hand by the champion. Woodall carrying over to the body of Joe Calzaghi. Showing his fast hands there. Calzaghi. Beautiful combination. He rocked out of the way of the right hand by bunches, making the difference. But if they're willing to trade like this, you may have to give the upper hand to the champion. He's got more pop on his punch. Both have good chins. And there's more punches in between. Woodall lands with a straight right to the head. And that gets the crowd going. Calzaghe's speed here does not hard punches. He lands another combination, makes a miss, then comes right back with another three punch combination. That's where he's at his best. Punch, make a miss, and punch some more. Right hand, one or two of which land pretty clean. Here's an uppercut. One over the top, one over the top blocked a little bit, but there's a third one. Woodall fighting back and a fourth. Right hand was blocked by Woodall. Woodall comes smacking back with a left-right combination. Reach the round now. He downed Chris Eubanks, seconds in with a left hook to the jaw. It is title victory here in Sheffield. The right uppercut was deflected by Kalzaghi. So once again, the combination by Woodall, assuming by the champion, Woodall not respond. He responds there with a straight right, then ties him up. Woodall may be a bit tired, right? but he. That got the attention of the champion. Good head fake by Woodall. Nails it with another short stroke right hand. Good finish by Woodall in round seven. The former champ's best punch thus far came at the 215 mark of round seven. Richie Woodall. And it really opens up to earn him a victory. The right uppercut to the jaw by Woodall. And there's a nice kick. By Woodall. He stuffed a beautiful jab right in the chest. Great follow up by the challenger. And then a beautiful elusive move and a countering shot. Showing some signs of wear and tear, Steve. Not looking like he did in the early rounds. And yet.
Matt Woodall still looks reasonably crisp. And that's exactly what Woodall said would happen. But here's Calzaghe on the attack now. Calzaghe hit him with a good clean combination. Followed up with second and third. Oh, that may have been a low one. Eighth best KO percentage among champions. And he may need one here if this keeps up. I had a crush by Woodall that connected. Nice one, two by the champion, jab in a straight left hand. Right on Woodall's nose. Woodall missing with a wild right, countering left hand to the body by Calzaghe. Right hand to the head by Woodall. And yet Calzaghe just hanging there. Time for him to just make that one little adjustment. <laughs> Calzaghe showing some pretty good help. Right hand to the head by Woodall. Calzaghe start talking to him. Combinations are taking the lead still. One at a time, one big one at a time for Woodall. Calzaghe with the combination. It's not one and done for Calzaghe. It's one, one, two, one, two, three. Calzaghe with the heavier punches. Oh! He's staggered. There he goes. Woodall goes down and somersaults to the canvas. First down. Joe Calzaghe, we had a round 10. And Calzaghe once again on the assault. Body shot hurt, Woodall. What a win. Calzaghe looking to finish it right here. He has never stopped an opponent after the ninth round. Oh, wait a minute. Roy Francis has stopped the fight. And they immediately embrace. And Joe Calzaghe remains champion. Example of an accumulation effect. Instead of one punch, there's one, two, there's three, there's four, five, there's six, seven, eight, and that's it. Now we look at the stoppage. Calzaghe's on the offense, and I think that that passive defense, although there you see, there you see uh, Woodall trying to come off there and fire right hand, so it wasn't completely passive. But you put your hands up and get passive like that, the referee's going to really look at it close. Joe Calzaghe. Joe Calzaghe, still the WBO Super Middleweight Champion, joining Bruno Gerard, Davey Hilton Jr.